what do you do to relax? Well, we like to travel, obviously, and, and uh, we've started offering house and pet sitting services around the world. Uh, well, okay, weirdest pet you've sat? <laughs> a pig named Rudy. But our first stint was two cows named Christmas and Thanksgiving in, uh, in New Zealand. Cool. Uh, Hello, Cowboy George. <laughs> nice to meet you. As a country music fan, you're going to enjoy this. I'll give you the boot and then you can scoop. <laughs> a boogie. Do that if you want on your own time. <laughs> you even stand like a cowboy. I love it. Well, maybe, but I think Ricky played really well at the table. Mm. Tom, biscuits and gravy. But then, hey, yeah, but hang on a minute. Whoa, hold the line there, George. You've got to draw the line there, mate, with the Americanisms. Biscuits and gravy, you can't have that. That's all wrong. Because <laughs> biscuits to you are like scones. Can't have them, mate. So yeah, biscuits are uh, biscuit. You know what I mean? That's a cake, George. Dip it in that gravy. Sorry, George, I'm not having that. The opposite sides of a dice always add up to seven. So there were those two oh. sides are showing seven, those two sides are showing oh. seven, and then the six on the top. Two sevens and a six? Yes! You've put... Girdle. I wear one. <laughs> I've worn one before, so, yeah. I think it's right. Can I be honest? Mm -hmm. I've also worn a girdle. Yeah, I think In a show. <laughs> uh, correct answer is... It is a girdle, of course. Well done. The step closes home. Chase has put... <laughs> goes right, girdle. It was a bit loose for me. It ended up a gusset. <laughs> All that jumping and leaping around. <laughs> it's a bit uncomfortable. Perhaps, though, we're playing the governess. She has the body of a 25-year-old, but, unfortunately, she's stretched it all out of shape. <laughs> <laughs> I don't ride them. A, Marina stepping over. B, Marina up and over. <laughs> C, Marina get a leg over. <laughs> 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 Marina, get a leg over. <laughs> I hope it's that. Brilliant. If you were to win some money today, what would you buy? Mm, here I we would... go. <laughs> I'd buy some uh, Louis Roderet. Absolutely, and why not? Yes. You are bon viveur? Of course, of course. <laughs> Champagne, bon viveur. Oui, oui. <laughs> Oval pan. You've put... <laughs> fish kettle. I've never heard of it. I have. Oh, have you? Yeah. Do you know this, then? You know this? I hope so, yes. The correct answer is... Yes. Never heard of it. Step close home, well done. Chase has put. Fish casserole goes wrong. Ah! Oh, that's a different kettle of fish. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I get it now. It all falls into place. <laughs> I'm what Lara Croft found in the tomb. Oh, <laughs> oh bless. I don't understand that. What does that Treasure. mean? Treasure. Don't worry, she does. <laughs> I still don't get it. She's very well preserved, though, isn't she? I haven't got a clue what's going on. Low offer, please. Minus £1,000. Uh, what? <laughs> I don't want him to take it. But we've only got seven. I don't care. Well, we've lost player number two. I don't care about that either. <laughs> oh, she's hard, isn't she? Not off. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Cathy. Hello, Anne. I don't know what you're on, but can we get some of them for sure? <laughs> Positivity and a lot of neutrinos. <laughs> Do you two kiss Chase? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> That's later, then. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Kathy, for six grand, the chase is on. Good luck. Thank you. To me. <laughs> <laughs> You've put... Sausage. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go with sausage-shaped things. I'm allowed. <laughs> to go through with £6,000 with sausage. <laughs> Correct answer is... <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> She seems quite pleased. <laughs> Thank you, Anne. <laughs> Can I go now? Um, <laughs> well played, Cathy. You're through <laughs> to the final. Well, well done. There you go. C congratulations and 13 grand. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh my God! I can't believe it. 
Join the club. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was um, unusual. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> Cathy and Gareth have made it through to the final. Total prize fund is £13,000. I'm going for a lie down. <laughs> Bless you, Anne. Really? Thank you Thank so you, much Thank for you, what has been the most incredible experience <laughs> ever. I don't think Anne did it deliberately. <laughs> I'm glad you're so delighted, Cathy. Uh, well, listen, £6,500 each. Gareth, what will you do with That's yours? That's enough for the motorbike lessons and the motorbike run. Cathy! I'm going to go to a neutrino conference, Bradley, and I'm going to think of you! <laughs> I'll, I'll be there in electrons. You will. Not in body. Yes, absolutely. And have you seen a ghost? Yes, I, I've seen mm. a few. But really? I, yes. Come on then, when? I, I where? Play, well, a place where I used to work, uh, I used to be locked in a building, and I used to get visited by another member of staff throughout the evening to make sure I was OK. And while talking to this other member of staff, I used to see, on a regular basis, a small boy's head peeping out from what was our kitchen area. And we found out later on that the actual ground that it was built on was uh, used to be an all-boys school and a workhouse. Wow. Okay. I love all that, though. If you win some money today, what are you going to do with it? Well, being a happily married man, I'm going to have no say in what my money is spent on. But should I be allowed to spend my money on something, uh, I'll probably buy my wife uh, a new ukulele and maybe some ghost hunting equipment. It's not the sort of end of the sentence I was expecting. Yeah. I'm going to buy my wife a beautiful dress. I'm going to buy my wife no. a lovely pair of shoes. I'm going to buy my wife a ukulele. That is correct. <laughs> She's a ukulele mad. She even calls them ukulovelies. Really? Yeah. How many has she got? Three at the minute. Perfect. And a mandolin. It's Emma Woodhouse, well placed, up close to home. Chase has put. You can see them running around in their garden in their petticoats and everything like that. Oh, how wonderful. Fancy kickabout? Never happens. <laughs> Give Jane Austen a chance. These books were written in the 1810s. They were hardly likely to have association football as a major plot point. It's ridiculous. Uh, Emma Woodhouse, of course, is the title character from the Jane Austen novel Emma. Um, Fanny Price is Mansfield Park and Anne Elliott is Persuasion. Good afternoon, Sace. Good afternoon. Well, an ex-professional footballer is quite decent at quizzing. <laughs> They're pretty rare, aren't they, Bradley? Yeah, <laughs> to be fair, they are. That's why I ask the questions, though, because I'm no good at answering them. <laughs> well, to be fair, Bradley, you are very good at some subjects. Just unfortunately, there aren't very many, many of them. Many of the subjects, no, I know, mate, I know. It's not that. <laughs> It's flat tires. It's flat no. I've got tyrannophobia. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. A, three apples high. B, four oranges high, or C, five bananas high? What <laughs> sort of question is that? Need an answer. Press. We can't go out on this. Oof. We can't go out on our taller Smurfs. It's apples. It's apples. You've put oranges, four oranges high. Well, why not? I mean, I don't know. That's a ridiculous question. It's going back to it's my go... early childhood. And it's going back to the year. tyrannophobia one. <laughs> Correct answer is, why not? Four oranges high. It's not bananas. Can't be bananas. Apples. I knew it. It's apples. Going home. Chasers put. We're staying where we are after Chasers takes us out. Now two from home. It's a blow from a team, that's for sure. Knew it, remember from the book, and it does help. I'm watching an awful lot of children's TV at the moment. <laughs> well, grow up. A, a filled pastry. B, a chocolate bar. C, a hot dog with five sausages. <laughs> I don't know, but I want C now. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny, isn't it? That bit, that looks great. That's funny. Uh, you've put... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not correct? <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing I could think of. I'm with five sausages. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> and the Americans like their food, don't they? OK, your correct answer is... Filled pastry, wow, how about that? <laughs> yes. You've put Paul Young. It's only one I've heard of. 
You are too. I don't recognise, so... Gut instinct was Paul Young. You don't recognise Paul Carrick and Paul Weller? Nope. Not before my time. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't sound like it's going to end well. 